Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Uh, you'll notice that my vertical antenna that's usually behind me is not there right now because I yanked it out of its little telescoping base for fear of heavy thunderstorms uh, forecast to occur today, which fortunately did not, and it looks like they will not. The cold front has passed. It's 45 degrees right now here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States, of absurd weather. The morning of June 1st, it's supposed to, we're supposed to have a freeze. <laughs> Our last frost is not yet over. While New York enjoys Manhattan Henge, we enjoy Ice Henge. It can get that cold here, even in field day, and, and that is one of the reasons why I'm a little bit reticent about going outside and doing portable on field day up here because I'm a wuss. But I was noticing something very interesting and remembering something very interesting. My next door neighbor has taken me to and from the surgery center a couple of times when they wouldn't even let me take a cab because of the anesthesia. Uh, they said, do you have a neighbor? And uh, he's a good neighbor, and he sold me the house. The nerd castle that I live in right now. And he uh, told me that uh, one time he was in a pickle of some kind or another, and he went around looking for houses with ham radio antennas uh, attached to them, indicating that, obviously, a, a radio ham lived there. And that's what we always assume when we see an antenna like that. We assume it's a ham radio operator, or the ordinary person does. When uh, somebody comes on and cuts off their telephone with their loud, obnoxious, profane voice, they also assume that it's a ham radio operator. And I got uh, some information, some interesting information about these I don't know if I'd call them bootleggers. I think maybe I'd call them moonshine pirate radio operators that are adored by some and despised by others. I shall not uh, offer an opinion one way or another other than to say that when I hear them between the Citizens Band, the, the uh, Chaos Band at 27 megahertz and the Ham Band at 28 megahertz, I find some of their shenanigans rather entertaining. Apparently the Federal Communications Commission, once they get wind of it, don't find it quite so entertaining. But it's getting harder and harder and harder to get the Federal Communications to take this kind of thing seriously. I was, I was watching a video about someone who's running 13 kilowatts of power. And he is, uh, and that's his, presumably his PEP output power. And he's causing all sorts of RFI to his neighbors, besides having an antenna that they consider an eyesore. Look at the eyesore behind me. I value good neighbors. I don't want to antagonize my neighbors. I want them to come around looking for my house seeing the ham radio antenna there and thinking, gee, maybe this guy can help me out in some kind of an emergency. Not this bloody piece of pig poop ought to go fly a kite. The problem is, a lot of people think those moonshiners are ham radio operators and they give ham radio operators a bad name. What can we do about it? What can I do about it? Why am I making a video about it? I don't have a clue other than to say that I do my very best to abide by the regulations that exist. And I think most radio hams also do. But there are those who don't. 
and uh, I'm not going to try and do anything about them. The Federal Communications Commission apparently isn't going to either unless they're called to come in and intervene. And boy, did they ever v intervene in this video. They came in and they raided the guy's house. And the uh, mayor of the town came by with a megaphone and said, We support you, uh, Mr. Moonshine, against this tyrannical federal... Uh, Stalinist regime under which we toil. That's funny. Isn't it? It's hilarious, isn't it? You're not laughing, are you? Neither am I. I guess tomorrow that antenna goes back up again and people can come around looking for me hoping maybe I can help them. Not hoping maybe they can slap me upside of the head. If they can stand the weather in the 30s, good Lord. I went swimming outside today, would you believe that? And now, look at it. Woe is me, woe is ham radio. It's still a lot of fun. 73. And until next time, so long, which, in the native fist of the owner of that removable antenna, shall forevermore be. Da 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 da.